Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. The next question is from Petra, and she states, Body elementals of some nature as death, and is the agreement situation different for walk-ins? Hi Nelia, am I correct that the death who you encountered is an elemental existing as a function of a specific cultural collective and thereby convey, conveying to it um, an individualistic character and appearance related to that collective which we can, but which can be encountered independently by anyone with the right intention, i.e. needing help through the death process? like divas and nature spirits can be contacted for the plant kingdom to find out how best to care for plants. Would not then an individual body elemental be of the same nature, co-created through a lineage, DNA, and for a specific purpose in an individual lifetime, but which then can also sometimes be encountered independently as a separate being in 3D? Perhaps it is a different situation for a walk-in who made an agreement with an already existing and available body elemental instead of co-creating one through the birth process. Distinct disparities in fears, etc. would be evident because the body elemental was originally intended for another projected purpose instead of manifesting the different needs and intentions of the current incarnate soul. But the walk-in situation would also convey a certain degree of freedom since other agreements, i.e. to certain prevailing limitations of collective 3D experience, existence on the planet, would be 3D parties, since those were made by the previous soul, not the walking. Third party agreements do not hold as much weight as ones between first and second parties. Thank you, Petra. I'm not actually understanding what the questions are, so I'm going to go and try and go through your email again and see if I can figure out what it is that you're asking. I think the first part um, is about the nature of the death being. Who is it? What are they? Right? Is it an elemental existing as a function of a specific cultural collective? I think that these beings exist in all of our cultures and I don't think they're elementals I think they're literally almost one could say um, re similar to angels right in fact one of the names that people call death is the angel of death right? so they may be very closely related to angels um, they are different beings and like whales are different beings and dolphins are different beings that we can see and feel and touch uh, but these beings that sometimes we can feel see and touch but not always um, are different beings they're not human they're not created by cultures they're literally there the way we see them I think yes is very much dictated by our culture and cultural beliefs um, and um, I'm sorry <laughs> I've got distracted there with a phone ringing I had to switch it off so yes I think that definitely they are different beings they're not human they're more related to angels and the way we see them definitely has to do with our culture. If the death that I saw had appeared to somebody in, say, the Brazilian jungle wearing a suit and glasses, they wouldn't have recognized him as even a person, probably. Especially the individual tribes who haven't had any contact with the Western societies and cultures. Um, so, yeah, I think that the way we perceive them and see them very much has to do with our culture but they're not culturally created as such okay so uh, the next part says um, uh, 
it can be independently encountered by anyone with the right intention so it needs help through the test process like devas and nature spirits can be contacted for the plant kingdom to find out about how best to care for plants um, yes I think that anybody can have contact with these beings just like you can with angels um, would you would not then an individual's body elemental be of the same nature co-created through a lineage DNA I'm not really sure how the two relate or what type of nature you're talking about okay so with regards to the body elemental can it be created through a lineage DNA and not for specific purpose in an individual lifetime I don't actually understand your question. I hope somebody does <laughs> so they can tell me what it is. Or maybe you can send it in again with different words. Um, the physical body elemental will choose physical bodies um, and DNAs that are related to the choices of itself, the ones, the experience it wants to have, as well as the soul that has decided to incarnate with the body elemental and what choices and experiences the soul wants to have. Um, I'm not really sure what you mean by co-created through a lineage DNA, although what DNA the family has, that the, the parents have that are giving birth to the child, will be chosen and selected um, like they have this much DNA and to have a baby the baby only uses this much so what this contains is chosen among the whole lot and that choice is made by the soul and the physical body elemental depending on what experience they're here to have okay so is it a different situation for a walk-in who made an agreement with an already existing and available body elemental Okay, so I'm not sure what you mean by um, the situation. I'm thinking maybe the shape and body, for the most part, when you have a walk-in, the person can change drastically and often does. Um, if they are very skinny they can put weight on or vice versa sometimes medical conditions that were thought to be um, incurable go away so a person might have like um, chronic anemia for example uh, the next moment uh, the walk-in comes in and they no longer have chronic anemia so the experience is still co-created. It obviously does have some limitations. The sex of the physical body, unless you have the walking have operations and medical treatment, the sex, the height usually stays the same. The color, I've seen people change color. <laughs> not exactly change race but definitely subtle changes to their color even their height um, definitely medical conditions have changed but unless the person ha uh, has operations and medical treatment the sex does not change the physical body and mental stays with the same sex um, okay so um, this walking situation would also convey a certain degree of freedom. You always have freedom, whether you're walking or were born to that physical body elemental, you're free to change your mind about your experience here with regards to everything. Uh, the biggest firewall is that the belief that DNA is static and that any medical condition that people say is chronic or untreatable you believe it, um, then it will be, but otherwise it is very, very pliable. Very, very, very pliable. And you can manifest stories and situations that will make it possible for you to have those changes at a physical level. Again, I'm talking about physical uh, appearance and conditions. I, I don't know if that's what you actually meant. 
if you meant something to do with family ties and things those again are very flexible whether you are the person who was born into the physical body or a person who walked in you can change your mind about anything and everybody in your life it's not static it's not solid it's very pliable and as you raise your frequency vibrational frequency in your life sometimes these changes happen spontaneously again not having been able to understand your questions fully I hope that I interpreted them correctly and answered some of them to your satisfaction the information in this video relates to my class death the unspoken truth if you haven't downloaded the class yet you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken